Throughout the pandemic, children were considered some of the most vulnerable to abuse and neglect. Instances that would have I mean, otherwise been caught by school officials trained for to look for abuse. That's right. You know, WCPO 9 News reporter Whitney Miller introduces us to a man whose job is to keep kids safe and he takes his work home with him. During the height of the pandemic and stay at home orders, Child abuse cases actually went down for some agencies, but experts say that's because children weren't inside of school buildings with concerned faculty that could report those cases. At Western Hills High School, Dr. Craig Hanthorn is a school psychologist. When he's not at home, his job is to interact with students and report instances of child abuse. Probably 50% of my report cases are brought to my attention by someone else other than the victim itself. But stay at home orders made his job difficult. Weekly calls to Child Protective Services slowed all the way down. Since the pandemic's hit, we've had astronomical numbers not being able to check in with. Jane Herms, an executive director of the Family Nurturing Center, says at the onset of the pandemic, child welfare agencies across the tri state saw a decline in child abuse reports. In April 2020, Ohio calls were down 42% from 2019. Experts say as those calls started to increase again, the cases were more severe. Typically, teachers and child care providers are two of the number one reporters in the community, and those people were not seeing kids. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't have eyes on, and so uh, reports went down, but children were more at risk. That's turned around a little bit. Um, we hear anecdotally in Kentucky and Ohio that reports are, are climbing again as kids are have more access. She believes families limited access to resources and higher stress levels throughout the pandemic were contributing factors to some of the abuse. There are everyday incidences that we really need to be just as concerned about and that we have a better opportunity to really prevent um, and address soon. Dr. Hanthorn knows all about helping families. You can see that in his blended home. He is a coach at Western Hills, and when he noticed some of his players were struggling in their homes, he stepped in to help. If I come to help, I don't need anything. Like, so I try to get my grades better and everything. I came here, so I didn't have to worry about that anymore. It was more about school and then basketball. For several years, Hanthorn has cared for both Jamon and Dakarion in his home, giving them a place to focus on their studies, getting their grades up so they could graduate this past May. He was able to help these young men, but says there are so many more that need support. We face an issue where parents are working three, four jobs to make ends meet. So how are they supposed to help their student at home with homework when there's three other children in the house? Happy to step in and help wherever he's needed. Being, being a dad, being coach, being whatever, you know, that's those are titles that you don't take for granted. On the West Side, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News.